So I'll turn the ignition on. All right, so as you can see, actual gear is park, and yes, we're in park. It's Y36Y modulating pressure control solenoid valve. So let's move that, let's go down into, dry, into R. You can select them all in one go, and then press um, F2 to start. Now, if I press S for sport, we go to one. There we go, it's gone to one. Actual gear, park, emergency running, no. Selected gear by means of selector, park, target gear. Right, so, we'll tap it one more time, that should go obviously to three. And there we go, three. Let's move on, cause it's time to move on. Somebody got in touch about the automatic transmission. Got my iCast off here. And I thought I'd go into it and see if I can find out what he was asking, which was the temperature of your automatic transmission on your Mercedes SL, or whatever Mercedes that you have. Um, so there's a lot of menus I've just realized and I thought it's a good idea for me to go through them. So have a look at this here. So I turn the ignition on so that all the lights come on the dash. So for the main screen, go into diagnostic and uh, go to the Mercedes tab if you're lucky enough to have multiple cars this one is just software just choose the latest one it doesn't really matter and I'm gonna to go to SL which is my car Mercedes SL 230 choose the year and it's an 02 2003 2008 hit that and then the engine is what comes up next and for me it is the 467 3.7 litre. Right, now smart scan manual. I'm going to go straight to manual. Manual is just so that you know the item that you're going to go to. That's all that means. And transmission control module, second one down. So you can go and look at the error codes. Hopefully I won't have any. Refault codes, no fault codes found. But on the bottom of the four menu there, there's view data. When you go into that, if you have a look at the top here, you'll see that I've got one of eight things. So let's just go through them and see what we can see. What we should do is just start the car. So let's go to the second one down, which is solenoid valves. Now this is interesting because I got a Range Rover. I had to get the gearbox completely rebuilt because the solenoid valves failed. But let's see what information it can um, tell me. Wow, it's quite a lot there. Emergency running back on that again. So actual current of components, Y36Y modulating pressure control solenoid valve. Well, let's go into that one, why not, and see what that's all about. Press F2, continue. There we go, it's telling it's 750, so it's live data, it's fluctuating just above 750 milliamps there actual current of components modulating pressure control solenoid valve so you could take that number make sure that is the correct number that you should be seeing and then you know that your solenoid valves are all good so that's a that's a great little check right let's go back press f press the back button here um various other items for the solenoid valves on off ratio torque converter lock up go into that and see you can select them all in one go and then press um, F2 to start but I like to go individually because it's um, it's quicker uh, so on off ratio of torque converter lock up 0 1 255 so yeah I don't again I'm not too sure <laughs> exactly if that's telling me that's the fact that I've got no error codes I'm, I'm not going to start um, going in any deeper than that um, Let's keep going down. We've got five of nine, so there's there's another four items to see. Uh, again, solenoid valves, set of current components, status of shift values. Oh, let's go into that one and see. Right. Oh, did I not press it? Right, so select that. So F2 to start. Emergency running, no. State of the shift values, three to four. I wonder what that means then. Interesting. All right, let's go back. Speeds, let's have a look at that.
Oh, here we go. Engine speed 716, so I'll give it a little rev. There you go, the revs are going up. And turbine speed. Alright. Speed sensor 2, speed sensor 3. That's good. It's got some good life information there. Right, let's go back. See what else we can see. Another one speeds. Actual gear park. Ah, right, so this is the gear shift. All right, so as you can see, actual gear is park, and yes, we're in park. So let's move that. Let's go down into R. There we go, target gear reverse one. You've got the vehicle speed front axle, vehicle speed rear axle. That's good. So you can check the, uh, I would say, your uh, tooth gear for your ABS modules and things. Transmission output speed. Well, I'm not driving at the moment, but um, no doubt that will go up as you drive. That's my parking there going in. So here we go, target gear now. Target gear is two. Now this is interesting, is because I've got the comfort mode on. So the comfort mode is the accelerates in second gear. So as you pull away, the target gear that it's gonna go and use is second gear. Now, if I press S for sport, that should theoretically go to one. There we go, it's gone to one. And there you can see that um, the target gear is first gear, so that's great. So let's go back in the park. And then we're back in the park. So that's good live information, that. So here we got here, it says starter lockout contact open and selected gear by means of selector lever, we're in park, which we are. Transmission mode switch, status unknown. Transmission mode switch, hmm kick down switch not operated so there you go you can check to make sure that it's doing the kick down obviously you need to do it by driving the vehicle and here if you had your paddle shifts you've got right steering wheel gear shifter and you've got the minus which would be on the probably the other side I haven't fortunately got paddle shifts but nevertheless that is how you would check it which is great let's go back so it's quite an in-depth menu for the transmission. Now I've actually got um, an AMG speed shift gearbox. It's quite a rare gearbox actually, and it came with the car when I bought it. Um, I went to Mercedes and they, they advised me, so it gives uh, a sharper shift, um, which is great because I didn't even realize I had it until I asked. So the last two options are torque converter lockup clutch. Let's have a look at that last one, which is the upshift and downshift. I guess that's just gonna look at the gear shifts again. Yeah, here we go, look, actual gear, park, emergency running, no, selected gear by means of selector, park, target gear, right, so, so if I was now to use the gear shift and ta tap it up a gear, you can see the selected gear by means of selected lever is now showing as two. I tap it one more time that should go obviously to three and there we go three so that's good so you can check to make sure that your manual gear sele selector is working correctly so look, I hope you found that useful there's loads of little menus I keep finding in iCarsoft you think it only does this this and this but just as I showed you there for the automatic transmission when I've gone into view da data there was what another eight different menus deep and each of those is pretty comprehensive the one thing I was hoping it would find though, and I don't think it has this, is the temperature of the oil in the gearbox. Because if you do change the oil, and there's supposed to be a sealed for life uh, module, uh, you know, but this car's got 180,000 miles. So I have been tempted to see if maybe I should uh, get the oil changed. And, and when you do that, and the auto box has got to be at a certain temperature, because obviously as things expand and contract, um, you're going to be able to put less or more oil in respectively. So fortunately it didn't tell me what the temperature of the transmission was, but it still gives a lot of other information there as well. If you want some other stuff on iCarsoft, stick it below. I'll do my very best to answer. If you got to the end of this video, amazing. Thank you. And of course, subscribe and thumbs up and all the rest. I know we all say it, but what it actually helps me is understands if these videos are being 
useful for people and um, I can see it on my analytics so I know to do more of them. See you on the next one. Cheers. Let's move on, cause it's time to move on.